G'day Debra Faithful, Naughty here, the glorious MCG, Melbourne, they've smashed the doggies, 45 points, it's become a bit of an annual beating in the early rounds of the season here at the MCG, it's what we do to the dogs, we play a game of footy on the hallowed turf and we spank them and the way that we ran over the top of them in the last quarter was a beautiful thing but it doesn't get much more beautiful than seeing Clayton Oliver come off the ground in the last quarter to a standing ovation here in the members. It was it was right up there for me uh, in terms of experiences that I've had with this football club. Clayton's been through a whole lot of shit uh, in the past six to eight months. So for the supporters to rally behind him and send him a message, just tell him that we all love him. And for him to play an absolute monster game, he's arguably the best player on the field with 35 disposals. He was, he was Herculean. Um, but we know that. We know what Clayton Olive is all about, but I just think um, it deserves a mention, that ovation uh, when he came off the ground. It was amazing. Other than that, you look at guys like Billings and Windsor. I thought they were absolutely brilliant as well. Um, Windsor just plays like a player that's been around this club for five, six, seven years already. Needs to put on a bit of size, that's pretty obvious. He's just a kid. Um, but he's got the poise and the class and the comparisons that people have made to Robbie Flower and Chula for pretty apt. Um, Max Gorn, brilliant. Coming up against one of the premier ruckmen in the comp. So I was, I was really, really happy with his game. I thought he was magnificent. Rue, kicking the three, awesome. But I think one of the biggest mentions needs to go to Tom McDonald and Ben Brown. So many people have written them off when the team news came out on Thursday. Myself included, I was, I was a bit sceptical about that, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, but to, just, just to see them play their role, um, particularly Tom McDonald behind the ball, very composed, hitting most targets when coming out of defence was amazing. Um, ben Brown. Again, another guy just competing, constantly competing, coming up against Karmas, who's a very athletic defender. To, so to see what Ben Brown did today was was amazing. It's it's not a a time to probably query his his I guess his fitness and whether he can do this for the whole entire season. I think it's just a a moment to really revel in what he did today to help us get the win. I thought he was superb. There's going to be a lot of other players that will wax lyrical about in the review shows at the player ratings. I'll do them tonight. We've got Robbo's Rundown as well, um, which we'll do tomorrow at some point as well. So there's plenty of content coming your way. But today was just a time to cherish the first win of the season. Enjoy it. Lap it up. Um, we've got oxygen. We've got life. And it was a nice little reminder to all Melbourne supporters that um, this is a legitimate team. We're not going anywhere. And I'm really excited for what the next few weeks uh, have to come. And does Harrison Petty actually get back into the lineup? I'll leave that one with you. Comment on YouTube in the comments below. Let us know, is Harry Petty coming in? Or do we actually persist with Ben Brown? Because I think he's legitimately staked a big claim to stay on this side. So very, very pleased, very happy to be back at the footy. Um, and go D's and um, I can't wait to get behind the microphone and dissect it all for uh, all the debrief faithful. Cheers.